Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am the Dream Detective and I help you to sleep better and to find the gold in the gobbledygook of your dreams so you can live the life you dream of. Tonight's live uh, was based on a, well, a Facebook conversation I had with one of my cousins and it was about weeding. <laughs> Well, and I don't mean weeding in your gardens, but we can use the analogy of a garden to, to um, understand my, my point about um, weeding regularly. Now, as anyone who's spent time in a garden or around gardens know, if you don't weed regularly, um, <laughs> your garden disappears under the onslaught. Your vegetables and your pretty flowers will all just be swallowed up by the weeds. Now, we know it's an never-ending battle, but we do it anyway in order to be able to, to maintain some kind of order um, in our gardens. And our lives are pretty much the same thing. Um, we need to tend to our lives like we tend to our gardens. Now, if you happen to have a messy garden, <laughs> I, won't make any, I won't make any judgment as to, to what your life is like, but think about it for a moment. As I said, weeds um, can be beneficial now. They're not all noxious. Weeds can be useful. After all, dandelions and comfrey and other so-called weeds have been used for medicinal purposes and, and for maintaining health for thousands of years. So not all weeds are weeds you need to get rid of. But those noxious weeds like bindweed, Japanese knotweed, which is actually illegal to, to have in your garden here in the UK, you need to and whether you're talking about people, places, or situations, if there's a noxious weed in your life that's choking the life out of you, out of the garden of your life, you need to dig it up and get rid of it. Now, how do you do that? Well, the first thing um, is to, as and I've mentioned in the past, is to get rid of the mental malware those hidden messages, those hidden recordings that run on autopilot in the back of our minds without us even knowing. And for that, you actually need to have help. However, help, however you decide to seek help, to be able to identify those hidden messages that run on autopilot and run your life, usually to your detriment, you need help. So let's assume then that you know, you're, you're doing the work that you need to do to be able to get rid of the mental malware. But sometimes the malware isn't internal, it's external. And those bits of mental mal external malware or noxious weeds in this case, <laughs> to use the garden analogy, are those people, places, and situations that do nothing to uplift you that do nothing to support you, that are only meant to tear you down or to belittle you to, for whatever reason, whether to make themselves feel better or just out of pure meanness, it doesn't matter. The point is they're noxious weeds and need to be extirpated from your life. Now, how do you recognize them? You know who they are. You know who the noxious weeds in your life are. They're the ones that, you know, that always have the, you know, little subtle or not so subtle digs or insults that ignore you, that talk about you to other people behind your back and they're not saying anything good. Um, you know who those noxious weeds are. Now, the thing is, some of them will drop away of their own accord and that comes from you getting rid of your mental malware and the other things that are going on that are anchoring you and pulling you down. When you start to change your energy, the way you think and the way you react to things and people and situations, the people around you will also change. I mean, from a standpoint of pure physics, that's true. 
you know, it says that um, as a, something with a higher vibration will raise the vibration of whatever's near it that's lower. That's how tuning forks work. It You have to raise the vibration to reach the level of the tuning fork. Well, I mean, if if you're in a, in a situation or an environment with a lower vibration and you start to change, then the, the energy that you emit will cause changes to happen around you. So the people will start to change as well, either to change with you and to continue the journey or because the vibration is no longer compatible, they just fall away. Um, and I've had that happen in the, in the last few years that people that I was very close to and for many years, we just, our paths just diverged and you know, we didn't fall out with one another. We weren't not, we're not angry with each other. If we run into each other, we're happy to see each other, but we're on different paths. And so um, we continue our journey on, instead of together we continue parallel in a way so there's those those are not noxious weeds those but those are weeds that you know that just fall by the wayside but some weeds you have to pull up make a conscious decision to pull them up and get rid of them and maybe even burn them to make sure they don't come back not literally of course <laughs> We are talking about people, places, and situations rather than weeds. <laughs> but what happens with the, the so-called noxious weeds, they will not leave you. They will not fall away on their own accord. They need to be consciously removed. And again, you know who those noxious weeds in your life are. It could be a particular situation. It could be a particular relationship. It could be a particular way of thinking. And if those noxious weeds are, are not uplifting you, are not giving you support, are not um, moving you to a higher vibration, but trying to drag you down to a lower one, get rid of it. Get rid of the weeds. They're not doing you any good. So I would challenge you to think about that. Um, where in your life are there noxious weeds that need to be pulled up? It's not always easy, and it's quite often it's usually people that are closest to you um, that can be the most noxious of all. But nevertheless, you know, you may not be able to get them out of your life completely, but you can surely surely withdraw be judicious about your contact with them because if you let them get in your the soil of your soul they are going to flourish without your consent or sometimes your knowledge do not let the noxious weeds into your garden of, of life because they will choke the the beauty of your garden so I leave that thought with you um, and, and invite you to, to look at the, your inner gardens and see where there are weeds that need to be pulled up so that your garden can flourish and grow like it should. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have a great evening, a wonderful week ahead, and I will speak to you, hopefully, again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.